Hey, are you thinking of moving to Culver City, California? In this video, I'm going to take you around to various neighborhoods here in Culver City. There's several of them. So we're going to go hit some of the top ones. We're going to look at uh, the area. We're going to look at what schools are there, what's around those neighborhoods. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to take you to one of the best local delis in Culver City. Let's go do that now. If this is your first time in the channel and you want to know everything about living in Culver City, California, then just click on that subscribe button, tap on the bell, give me a like with a thumbs up so that you can be the first to know what's going on in Culver City, California. I'm Lori Lynn Failer. I'm with Living in Los Angeles. Now we get calls, texts, and emails every day from viewers just like yourself looking for help in moving to Culver City. And we love it. Yeah, we really love helping. So whether you're moving in nine or 90 days, Hey, if you live outside of California, if you live inside California, heck, even if you live in Los Angeles County and you think about moving to Culver City, California, just call us, text us, email us so we can help you make a smooth move to Culver City, California. So the neighborhood we're in right now, it's actually two neighborhoods. They are sister neighborhoods. We are in Park West and Park East. The main street through here is Culver Boulevard. And then we have Overland Boulevard. Overland Boulevard is what separates the two. This is, that's East and that's Culver West. The home prices are pretty similar, anywhere from 1.1 up to 4.2. You're looking about a three bedroom, two bath, around 1500 square feet. Very, very walkable, both of these neighborhoods are. What that means is you can walk to run uh, local errands. You don't need a car. Now with walkability comes, yep, a little bit of noise. That's just typical. But still, wouldn't you rather walk to go to your uh, local restaurants, run local errands, and have to get in your car every time you turn around? So what do we have between these two neighborhoods? Well, behind me is the Veterans uh, Center, as you can see absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of classes that are offered here. You have classes for kids, um, your animals, believe it or not, they have seen some animal classes here. They have uh, language classes. They have senior citizen classes. They have a lot of classes, a lot that they offer the communities here. Uh, just down the street to my right is the Culver City Pool, public pool. They have competitions there. They have lessons there. They have open swim. On the left side of me, let's just turn around and look. You're gonna see Sony Studios. There it is. They go Sony Studios. Over here is uh, your Senior Citizen Center and another veterans area. Look how beautiful these trees are here. This is just a fabulous area. Besides the Veterans Memorial Park, you have Carlson Park in the area. Uh, schools, you've got uh, the very popular Farragut Elementary School and the El Nino School. So as I said, you've got two of the above average elementary schools right in this neighborhood. As well as past this swimming pool down this way, you have the Culver City Middle School, the Culver City High School as well. Also behind the Culver City High School is an entrance to the Bologna Creek bike path. That bike path takes you either into uh, the northern, uh, the most west eastern part of Culver City, or you can take it down to Marina Del Rey beaches. This neighborhood, as I said, is absolutely fabulous to run local errands in. Walkable everywhere. Transportation, I'm going to tell you what, transportation, you're only going to find buses in this neighborhood. The Metro Expo line in Culver City is probably a good 20 minute walk from here or maybe a 10 minute ride and there's parking here. So let's go take a look at some of these um, homes in these two areas. So our first home is right behind me. It is a three bedroom, one bath, just under 1200 square feet. It's listed for $1.6 million. So this quaint little street here, look behind me, there's a 
Parking bench. I told you that the transportation here was buses. There's a lot of buses here. So you can ride the bus, pick it up and ride the bus, places you can't walk to. Down this direction is where we were at the Veterans Park. That is Culver Boulevard. You um, go west on, vet, uh, on Culver Boulevard, you come into the Veterans Park where we were uh, with um, all the community activities, the playgrounds, the tennis courts, the schools. If you go, um, actually that's east, that's east. If you go west, you're going towards the beach. And down there you'll find that little strip mall that I had talked about in my other video. It's a strip mall that has a lot of restaurants and shopping in it. You've got um, your plant-based sage restaurant. You've got stand-up burgers, which is plant-based. You have Starbucks, you have a pizza joint. You have Holy Cow, which is barbecue. So you've got a lot through there. There's a post office nearby. You've got gas stations, car washes. Uh, even if you don't want to drive your auto over there, you can walk to everything. These are walkable neighborhoods. In fact, let's take a walk down this neighborhood and look at how beautiful it is. One of the things about Culver City's neighborhoods is each neighborhood has different trees. The streets, see the streets are tree-lined and it's very consistent. One of the street, the last street neighborhood we were in was all magnolias. I can't tell you exactly what this one is because I have no idea. I guess I should have looked that up. Here's some of your homes coming through here. Very quaint, very cute. Not a lot of traffic. Of course, school's out right now. And speaking of school, there it is. There's the Culver City High School. And right past that is the La Bologna Bike Creek Path. You go right behind the high school and you jump on that Bike Creek Path. And like I said, you can go all the way down to the beach. Very peaceful neighborhood. Great homes. The majority of the homes in here are all uh, single story. You're going to have a couple that are double story where those homes have been taken, renovated, and a section added on to it. Go head back down this way so you can see what's going on in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. You can tell we have not a lot of traffic through here. This area is growing. It's a very popular neighborhood because of the fact that it's so close to restaurants so close to running errands and you don't have to take a vehicle. The majority of the people walk to everything. We're now in the neighborhood Park East. We were just in Park West. The home behind me that is for sale is a three bedroom, two bath, a little bit over 1600 square feet and it's listed for $2 million. In this neighborhood, it's again, very walkable, very quiet except for the construction you hear. And I'm gonna tell you what's going on here. A lot of these original homes are being sold. They are being torn down. And our mini mega mansions, and they're many, are being put up in this area. You can see how wide the street is. Very wide street. Easy access to parking. No parking permitted in the area. Here's some of the homes that have just recently gone up, as you can see. Beautiful neighborhood. And if I keep walking this direction, well, probably if I rode in my car this direction about a mile, this way you're gonna run right into the Culver City Park. There's a skate park there. There's the Boneyard, which is the dog park. You've got the uh, Culver Steps there. And about a quarter mile from there, you're going to run into a little strip mall. There you're going to find your Ralph's. You'll find Ross. You'll find Target. You'll find a bunch of little restaurants. I think Pizza Hut is in there. There's actually two little strip malls within that area. So let's look at these beautiful homes that have recently gone up. I think I'll be quiet and let you look at them. They are beautiful. And as I said, you can see here that some homes have been taken down, purchased, taken down, and they've got brand new beautiful homes going up. They are beautiful. Very walkable here. Great neighborhood. <clears throat> so we're gonna head back 
where we just came from. We're going north towards Culver Boulevard. And that direction again is your uh, Carlson Park. Hadn't mentioned Carlson Park. It's a very tiny little park. You'll see yoga instructors there. You'll see kids playing. You'll see people hanging out, reading their books. A lot of walking around. And then just past Carlson Park is the Veterans Park that we were at, where you've got, you know, the playground, you've got the um, swimming pool, you've got all kinds of classes. Look at how wide this street is. Isn't this beautiful? It's a great wide street. Okay, we're now in the neighborhood called Sunkissed Park Neighborhood. There's about 2,800 residents that live here. It is a very walkable neighborhood. You can walk to do local errands. And along comes with walkable neighborhoods, as you know, are noisy neighborhoods. Now back on some of the streets where the homes are, it's not so noisy, but the majority of it is because we're right by Sepulveda Boulevard. If we go south, we're not even a half a mile from the 405 freeway and the 90 freeway. Also located in the Sunkiss neighborhood is the very popular El Marino language school. It's an elementary school. It's an immersion school. They teach Japanese there, actually. We have two great parks in this neighborhood, the Culver Schlossen Park and, again, the El Marino Park. So we're right smack here in the middle. Let's take a walk and see what's down here. If you walk over here, you can see you've got a burger shop here. Hey, yeah, there's a smoke shop here. There's Louie's collectibles. If you're going this direction, that is south. You can see all the stores around here. Big Lots is down there, the Italian market. If you keep going about uh, not even a fourth of a mile, you're going to run straight into Trader Joe's, Sprouts, Westfield Mall, and the main Culver City bus line. Across the street here, you've got several dental groups. You've got a CrossFit. If you're looking north, if you can see it, there's pavilions over there, TJ Maxx, Target, uh, one of the post offices there. There's several, uh, there's a Petco, Sentinella Pet Foods. So a lot of this you can actually uh, walk to from your home. Also easy access here is to the Bologna Creek bike path. Now here goes one of your Culver City buses. So main transportation around here is either going to be on a bicycle or is going to be on a bus or your auto, but because of the fact that it's very central to a lot of businesses, you can ride your bicycle. Culver City has been putting in a lot of uh, bicycle lanes. And as I said earlier, a lot of those really nice left turn signals. So this is a really great neighborhood. And why don't we go check out some of those homes? Okay, so now we're back in the residential neighborhood area. We're exactly 0.3 miles from Sepulveda Boulevard, where we just were talking about where all your restaurants are located, your grocery stores, where a lot is accessible to you. The home behind me for, is for sale. It's a four bath, oh, let's try that again. It's a four bedroom, three bath house, just a little bit over 1,800 square feet, and it's listed for $1.5 million. I want you to look at the beauty here. Beautiful sidewalks, gorgeous a lot of greenery. You have absolutely beautiful trees. Let's take a look at it. Look at this beautiful street. The street is huge. Look at this. No permitted parking. Just don't park on cleaning days. It's gorgeous in this area. It has these beautiful, beautiful trees. I spoke to you about a lot of the neighborhoods in Culver City. Each have different types of trees and they're gorgeous. So we're now facing east. Like I said, uh, 0.3 miles, you'll run right smack into Sepulveda Boulevard where we were. Right there's Big Lots. There's the Westfield Mall. There's Sprouts. There's Trader Joe's. There's several, several pizza restaurants like Shakey's. You've got all kinds of restaurants that direction. Also that direction, Better be careful, I don't want to get run over. Also that direction, you're going to find the El Marino School. There's two parks down there. That's the Culver Slauson Park and the El Marino Park as well. Great parks down in that area. 
Uh, again, that school, El Marino Elementary School, above average, it is an immersion school. It's one of the few schools that teach Japanese. So if you were to go west this direction, you're gonna run right into the 405 freeway. The 90 freeway is down there as well. So it's a great area. Walk your dogs, walk your family, walk whoever you wanna walk. Take a bicycle ride. Easy access to Sepulveda Boulevard, your restaurants and your stores. Okay, here we are in another area of the Sunkist neighborhood. We are actually about less than a thousand yards from Sepulveda Boulevard. The house behind me is for sale. It's actually a three bedroom, one bath, just under 1100 square feet, and it's listed for $1.195 million. Now this neighborhood, as I said, we're about, I have probably 900 uh, yards from Sepulveda Boulevard where we filmed earlier. Um, it's very easy walking. It's not very noisable. Excuse me, it's not very noisy. Look behind me, you'll see the 405 freeway. Okay, loud horn, but it's a busy time of day. You don't hardly hear anything. Uh, if you go the other direction, this way, you are exactly seven minute walk from the El Marino Language School. Down in that area is also the Culver Slauson Park, as well as the El Marino Park as well. Uh, just past that is the bike path, the La Bologna bike path. Again, you can see the trees, they all look the same as Culver City has done that in all their neighborhoods. Really nice sidewalks, mostly one story homes in this area. Pretty much traditional that you see. And we come down this way, just another um, street to go down the side of the street, you really don't have any homes at all because of the freeway. Just a great neighborhood. Very fortunate that Culver City has some excellent neighborhoods with some excellent elementary schools. And the majority of the neighborhoods, as I said, are walkable to your stores, your restaurants, easy access to run your uh, local errands. So the neighborhood that we're in now is called the Blanco Culver Crest area. As you can see, we're on a hillside, absolutely beautiful. These used to be ranches up here. A lot of the homes are still ranch style homes. I've seen a few homes uh, being purchased and taken down and put up some very modern contemporary looking homes. But for uh, the majority of the homes here, you're going to see a lot of the ranch style homes. Let's take a walk and look at some of these homes. So the homes in this area, this again is the upper crest area. They range anywhere from $1.6 million through uh, $3.1 million. Big homes, nice homes. On your lower crest area, here, let's turn around so you can see some more of these homes, beautiful homes. There you go. The lower crest area, the homes are gonna run you about $1.4 to 2.6. They have some views, but they don't have as beautiful views as up in this area. And the lower crest area is called the Blanco area. Now what's different about this area? This is purely residential. There are no commercial buildings up here. There are no restaurants up here. There are no, re there is no retail of any type up in this area. So you do have to venture down the hill if uh, to go pick up amenities and go your groceries, but it's not that far. Go down the hill, go a little north. You're about a mile away from a Ralph's and a Target and Ross, and we talked about that in the last neighborhood. And if you go the other direction, which is south, you're about a half a mile away from the Westfield Mall. There's a Trader Joe's there, there's a Sprouts there. Um, come back a little bit this way, you're going to go uh, run into the West LA College. Again, this is split into two. We're in the upper 
Crest Culver area, and then there's a lower portion of the Crest Culver area, and that's called the Blanco. Very beautiful, very quiet, very peaceful, a lot of ranch style homes. And here we have, we have somebody trolling the neighborhood. Look at here at all the puppies. Look at here. Ah, oh, see, it's a great neighborhood to walk, walk your dogs, walk your parents, walk wherever you want to. So this home here in the Blanca Culver Crest area behind me, as you can see, it's a two bedroom, two bath, just under 1,500 square feet and selling for just under $1.5 million. You can see the area looks like another house is getting ready. It's a very quiet, it's also, it's not quite a dead end, but it circles around and goes to another dead end street. So you don't have a lot of traffic through here. A lot of sidewalks. Like I said, very peaceful, very quiet, but you do have to go into town to get your amenities and your supplies and go have a dinner out or whatever it is you want to do in that area. So again, that home is a two bedroom, two bath, just under 1,500 square feet, listed for just under $1.5 million. So the neighborhood we're in right now is called Lucerne Higuera neighborhood. There's about 2,800 residents here. We are in the northeast portion of the actual neighborhood. This neighborhood's pretty centrally located in Culver City. We're in a new area where there's a lot of development going on. This is what's called Ivy Station. Here you have the uh, West Coast offices for HBO, for Warner Media, for Apple. There's condos here. There are apartments here, you can see behind me. There's a lot of restaurants going up, a lot of shops going up. This is actually a really nice new area of the, uh, this neighborhood. Uh, behind me, you can see the Metro Expo train line. So it is very accessible to the train. There's a station right there where you can get off. Um, it's a beautiful area. You can also see there's uh, places you can sit here and have coffee. Looks like there's a kid's, uh, kid's day going on around here. So across the street from here, I'm gonna take a walk over there, is what's called the Hayden Track Area. It's recently been revitalized. There you have a lot of the headquarters from some of your startups, such as Sweet Green. You have TikTok there. You've got Clutter there. Also is called the Platform. So the Platform is where there's a lot of one-of-a-kind um, restaurants and shopping. It's not very large, but here behind me, you can see it. A little bit of a busy street, a lot going on here. I hear the train going through. A lot of places going up in this area. Now, just a little bit west from me, you're gonna run into the Culver Hotel, uh, Culver Studios, which that's where downtown LA is. Part of this neighborhood is still in that area where you can walk to a lot of restaurants down there as well. Oh, look at here, here's a boxing and fitness center going up. Looks like a healthy spot over here, your pets center. This is where your condos and apartments are going up. Uh, let's go over here and take a look at where your kids are. Looks like they're having a really good day. See there, you can see the train station, just a great comfortable place to come to. It's like they're having a lot of fun. Hey. Okay, let's have fun with that. I believe uh, school's out right now, so there's a mommy and me or daddy and me classes going on. Beautiful day here. The neighborhoods uh, where all the homes are, you're gonna find a, a mix of homes. Homes are typically a uh, three bedroom, two bath, they run anywhere from $1.4 million up to 2.6. You might have a couple over that. So we're still in the northeast portion of Lucerne Higuera neighborhood. We are about a 10 minute walk from the Ivy Station, the platform, Hayden Track. So it is very walkable to go over there to try out some of the stores, some of the restaurants. They even have an ice cream shop there. If you've been watching any of my videos, you'll know how much I love ice cream. 
But anyway, so the home behind me just recently sold. It is a three bedroom, two bath, just under 1,800 square feet, and it sold for $1.8 million. This is a great, great neighborhood. As you can see behind me, let's look at it. We have got a lot of sidewalks, beautiful sidewalks. All through this neighborhood, you're gonna find sidewalks where you can uh, walk your dogs, walk your kids, walk whoever you wanna walk. Beautiful trees, as you can see in Culver City, a lot of the trees are the same trees because years ago they were planted to stay in uniformity through here. Your school, you've actually got the Howe Elementary School is near here. Uh, it's a top-notch school. Culver City has some of the best above average schools. A lot of people move here because of the schools and because of the great neighborhoods like this. In fact, look here, I can walk out in the middle of the street and there's not much traffic here at all. You can find all different types of homes in this area. M majority of the homes you're gonna find are single story homes. They've been renovated, they've been updated. You're not gonna find a whole lot of new builds here on the northeastern section of this neighborhood. So we're now in the southwest portion of Lucerne Higuera neighborhood. We're not even a mile to a mile and a half from where we were in the northeast portion. It's not a very big neighborhood. As I said, there's uh, just under 3,000 residents here. The home behind me just closed. It's actually a four bedroom, three bath, around 2,300 square feet, and it sold for about 2.3 million and some change. Great neighborhood here. If you were to go in this direction, you're gonna run right into Culver Studios and downtown LA. So you can see that is walking distance to some great restaurants, to the Culver Hotel. There's a movie theater there. Uh, the new Culver Steps is there. It's absolutely fabulous. And if we were to turn the other direction on the street, kind of get away from the noise, let's go down here. Behind me, you can see uh, these are all dead-end streets through here, and behind me is what's known as the Culver Steps. That's a beautiful view from up there. You've got the Boneyard Dog Park over there. You've got the Culver Park. you got the, there's a skate park there as well. Jefferson's back over that way, and it takes you to various places. If you were to take Jefferson that direction, you're also going to run into a Ralph's. It's less than a mile. You have a Ross down that way. Uh, our other direction, you've got a Trader Joe's. I believe we talked about that when I was in the Northwest portion. Very, very close. Let's uh, just walk around and look at this pretty neighborhood. You see the streets, very, very quiet other than somebody doing some work on a house. Homes are gorgeous. Good mix of a couple Spanish style looking homes. You have some contemporary, you have some modern. Here's another one I do see for sale. And great neighborhood, really, really very nice. Yeah, there's somebody down there getting a parking ticket for parking on the wrong side during sweet strooping. Beautiful homes in this area. These trees are absolutely fabulous. On one side, you have all these queen palms. On the other side, it looks like some type of pine trees. So it's very nice, very mixed, very beautiful. Great, great neighborhood to live in. Not a lot of homes go up for sale in this area. Very few because people Love it here. It's walkable to everything on the northwest side and on, no, excuse me, the northeast side and the southwest side. You've got, it's, the walkability is around 78. Uh, does that mean that it's quiet? No. When you're very walkable, it's noisy, except for when you're on some of these side streets. This is just a beautiful area here. We are now in the neighborhood called Clarkdale. Clarkdale is home to about 3,300 residents. It is located between 
Venice Boulevard, which is north of us, and Culver Boulevard, which is south of us. If you go west, you're gonna run right into Sepulveda and the 405 freeway. If you go east, you're heading towards downtown Culver City. I am here coming from Telepison Park. It's not always easy to say. Great park, picnicking. You've got your children's uh, playground. It's a beautiful area. Let's walk over here. It's a very, very walkable town. Uh, walk score is about 95% in this uh, neighborhood because there is so much around. So if you end up going this direction, which is east, you're gonna run into Mill Creek Coffee Shop, really good coffee shop. You're gonna run into King Fahad Mosque. You're also gonna run into the La Bologna Elementary School, very top-notch school, as you can see. This direction, well, let's just walk that direction and show you how walkable things are. Let's head that way. This is towards Sepulveda. There are a lot of restaurants in this area. Everybody does walk. It's a very, very walkable neighborhood. I know I said that a hundred times. Let's walk it and see. We're going towards, there's Sepulveda and the 405. Here is the Cozy Inn. This is an old school bar. It's been here forever. It has shuffleboard. There's pool tables in there. And the 30-somethings have discovered it. It's very local. Only your locals know about it. Great place to go. And like I said, been there a long time. As we keep going, there's the Metro Diner across the street. Fabulous food, I'm gonna have to tell you. For breakfast, there's always a line over there. And they're not even open for dinner the majority of the time. I think two or three days a week they're closed, but they're really good. So let's just keep walking. We have a lot of restaurants down this way. You can go north and south both, and you're gonna get a lot of restaurants. Let's see what's down here. There's the Metro Diner that I spoke of. And over here, if you come to the end of which I'm going all the way to the end, got a gas station here. Walk to a gas station. Don't even know if you go to the gas station unless you have a car that has gas. So over here in the corner, of the restaurants, you see Maple Block Restaurant. Really good barbecue, brisket. That place is jam-packed all the time. Next door to it's called the Cinema Bar. Been there 75 years, still going, has live music. They also um, have a little patio out there and is known for uh, some of the famous films people have shot in. Across the street, you can't really see it, but there's a little Italian restaurant. So that shows you one side of Sepulveda. Come over here and guess what? If you live on the west side, well, you know what Tito's Tacos is. Tito's has been here for many, many years. And see, there's a line there. I don't know if you can see it, but there is always a line there. Well, you want with that truck. Tito's Tacos, Johnny Pastrami. Then you go down this direction and you have Sage. It's a plant-based restaurant. You also have Jersey Mike Sandwiches. You have a very good smoothie restaurant down there, or smoothie bar. You've got stand-up plant-based burgers. There is a lot of restaurants in this area. Again, this is the Clarkdale area. Like I said, very walkable. Walk to anything about here. Just walk back to where we came from. It is, don't you, let's just take a walk back to where we came thing let me tell you what's going on in the Culver City area and I'm seeing it here in Clark, uh, Clarkdale mostly left turn lights left turn lights are going up all through this little city when I first moved here from Nashville I was like why in all of LA is there like three or four red uh, left turn lights that's all I saw I couldn't believe it but in the last few months they put in not only left turn lights they put in a lot of crosswalks for pedestrians and they made bike paths on the majority of the streets here. You've got your own bike path. So they're attracting Culver City is attracting a lot of people that want to live here. A lot of people that like to cycle. 
the Bologna Creek bike path is not even a half a mile from where we are. Uh, I think it takes you about not even 15 minutes to get over there. It's right behind the Culver City High School. Again, that's about a half a mile away and so is the middle school. Well, that's about it for your Clarkdale neighborhood. Now let's go look at some homes. So we are not even five minutes south of the park we were just in. The home behind me, it's actually a teardown. It is a, was a four bedroom, three bath, right under 2,000 square feet. It was sold for $1.52 million. It's definitely gonna be torn down. As you can see, it's already boarded up. Right next to it are two other homes that have just recently gone up. This part of Clarkdale, a lot of these homes are being purchased and being torn down for some of our many mega mansions. You can see right behind me that there's several down there. You can see the green fences. You can see the work trucks. Major changes in this street. There's two or three streets parallel to this that this has happened, but it's still very, very private, secure. Look at the streets. You can see here come some people walking their dogs behind me. We are still, again, very close to El Bologna Elementary School, King Fahad Mosque. We're close to Mill Creek Coffee Shop. And like I said, if we go this way, behind me, that is where I was telling you about the little um, strip mall where you've got Sage the Plant Based Restaurant, you have Stand Up Burgers, you have Starbucks, you have Jersey Mike's, you have Holy Cow great restaurants and everybody can walk from this area. That's the fabulous thing. Here's a new home that just went on the market. The house behind me is a three bedroom, two bath. It's 1,720 square feet and it's listed for $1.9 million. Now we're only about four or five blocks parallel to the area we just came from, the home that I showed you where a lot of construction was happening, a lot of homes were coming down. The homes in this area, they've basically already done that. Let's take a walk and look. Nice street. Have you noticed the magnolias? Culver City planted trees when it first started in a lot of different areas but and different types of trees. This area got these huge magnolias. They're gorgeous. Now most of the homes as you see here are in their original but they have been renovated inside or they have been updated uh, except maybe one <laughs> or two but for now, they're staying that way. This is Culver Boulevard that you're facing. That's where I told you there was the little strip mall that had all those great restaurants, Sage, Stand Up Burgers, Starbucks, Pizza Place, Jersey Mike's, uh, Holy Cow. I think there's a, even a fitness center there. And then the one behind me is Washington Boulevard where you had Tito's Tacos, Washington and Soul. Sepulveda, you had Tito's Tacos. Uh, you have all kinds of little restaurants through there. Great neighborhood, beautiful streets. Nobody on these streets. No reason to be on these streets unless you live here. Not, not much traffic. Very friendly neighborhood. Absolutely beautiful. As I said, the La Bologna School, the elementary school, is about, again, five minutes from here because we were very close to that. As promised, I would take you to a very local deli here in Culver City. It is very secretive. Look at the street. You would never even know it was here. So let's walk down and find the deli. Here is the area where they let you come and sit and eat if you want. Really sweet, really quaint. It is, this is called Jackson Market in Delhi. You think that you're walking into a New York place. Here we go. We're gonna go order some food. Look at this just on the other side, again, <clears throat> Hi, pretty puppy. Hello. You waiting on your daddy? So it's a little here in the neighborhood. We're still in Park East. Really cute. 
Here's the deli. Now we're going to go order our sandwich. Now we put our order in for a sandwich, and while they're making the sandwich, let's walk outside to the back area. This is where another area you can hang out and walk in, hang out with your pups. They are also cooking pizza. They have a stone pizza oven out here. This, like I said, is a very local deli. The locals know about it. Beautiful here. The food is fabulous. The sitting area is great. You can bring your animals in here. You can sit and do meetings in here. You can just hang out and enjoy yourself. And like I said, the food here is so good. It's as good or better than a New York or a Chicago deli. I'm gonna go pick up my salad now. I got a salad day, I usually get a sandwich and have some lunch.